that we run at Queller. What I want to let you know, a few things about the school that Bronx Science is famous for and well known for. What's the most popular thing you should know about Bronx Science? What's it very well known for? Yes. Of course, Bronx Science is extremely well known for the amount, large amount of Nobel Prize winners it sends to the school. The school has an incredible reputation and I want to quickly just discuss the bus routes with you. So there are about 30 kids from within Forest Hills, Queens who are picked up. What time does the bus pick up? I start my pickup at 6.40. So at around 6.40 in the morning is the pickup. What time is the drop off? Drop off at o'clock. And the kids are at Bronx Science by 8 a.m. to start school and class. <laughs> so I wanted to know also um, during so this is the actual bus that the kids are on in the morning. They use a Valo bus, right, yes. to and from. Yes. So 45 minutes is fair. What happens if they do clubs or activities? What do you do if they are, you know, for like I in high school, I would sometimes finish at six, seven o'clock. What happens for the after school commitments with the students? We have two late buses that arrive at a five fifteen, six fifteen. So there are two late buses that arrive. There's a five fifteen bus and a six fifteen. So I'm going to ask you a scary question. What happens if you have someone like me who misses the six fifteen bus? I think I picked you. Okay. So the latest you can leave, the latest you can leave is going to be six fifteen. All right. Keeping that in mind. And then, I, and then I just want to confirm your bus is fully aligned with the DOE holidays and the half. Right? And scheduling. Um, and then with times, do you guys, do you have very firm pick up and drop off? What if someone oversleeps and is like 30 minutes later? Is there no mercy yes, with the pick up? So if you're late for the bus and you miss the Forest Hills pick up, where is the next pick up? Okay, so if you miss the Queens Boulevard stop, which is by Parker Towers, you can race to the bus and make it to Askin Avenue, which is the next pickup stop. And it's about 45 minutes from Askin Avenue. Mo, he is a SAT student at Queller, yes. and he is uh, volunteering today by force to tell. No, I'm kidding. To tell us all about the school. What grade are you in, right? I'm a junior. For, right you're now. a junior. You're a junior. Um, uh, I just want to quickly before we go into Bronx Science. I just want to quickly. I want to go before we visit the school. I want to start at the end. So these are the acceptances of who's going where to college. My question to you is, where are the kids going to college? Okay, a lot of the students are going to NYU in the city. Some are going out to UMich, Ann Arbor. Some are going out to Emory, Drexel. Some are also going to California, Stanford. One or two students, it really depends. Stanford's a more selective school. A lot of other students, a lot of my friends from senior year are going to Cornell. <clears throat> that's upstate in Ithaca. And that's pretty much of what I know where people are going from senior year. What's the, um, I just want to know, and uh, just very quickly while you're here, what was your testing timeline just with SAT and ACT now that you go to Bronx Science? Yeah, my testing timeline, I took my SATs in October, I mean October of this year. Um, 11th grade. Yeah. Well, so everyone, please pay attention to the testing timeline. So you went to Queller when? Uh, 10th grade. So 10th grade started SAT prep. The beginning of 11, you, you finalized your SAT yeah, testing. Them. So you were testing throughout 10th grade. Please keep that in mind. Yeah, I finished all my scores, 34 ACT, everything's done. How is your overall experience at Bronx Science? Yeah, I think it's a very inclusive like experience. There's people everywhere in here that you'll meet from everywhere in the whole like country. And I think that's really important because like 
like having that inclusive experience is something you won't get at every school. And also like some of the different programs like robotics we have, like we you saw right here, they're doing an experiment right here. We have debate, number one in the country. One of our, in our robotics program, like anything you want, wh whatever the cost might be, you're getting that. In like Mali Wen, which I'm in, which I'm, I'm a part of, like you're going to multiple conferences, many college conferences, like we went to Cornell this year, we went to Brown, we're going to many more next year. So I think it's a great standard that we're setting. The day that you spoke at Queller Prep about high schools, what were you doing that morning? That morning, I actually went to a Molly Wynn conference at Stye and afterwards, right after, I booked it to Queller. So what you're saying is you interact with kids from other specialized high schools, correct? Even more than that, a lot of the people that come to Molly Wynn con conferences, some come, some even come from different countries, like the Molly Wynn conference we have at Nisman at the Hilton Hotel, that almost 3,000 students from all over the whole country, all over the Wait, whole world. Wait, what was it? How do you spell that? NHS. National High School um, Conference. Hello. Can you just tell us where are we right now? This is the journal. Well, what 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 is this room? Uh, this is the journalism and yearbook room. Okay. And can you just tell us about Bronx Science in general? Like, what should we know? Why should we be traveling? Many of us from Queens all the way to Bronx Science. Uh, We've got uh, 36 uh, PSAL sports. We have 36 PSAL sports. 31 out of 32 advanced placements. Uh, 31, courses. 31 AP courses. Uh, Anything else? Courses. What else do we have, we have here? A great student government that has a lot of fun events. We had a carnival a few weeks ago. We on Valentine's Day. You, know, like, you can buy flowers for your friends and there's a number of during homeroom, which is very fun. Um, candy canes is the same during the Christmas season. Did you feel did you feel that you made the right decision to go to Bronx Science? Definitely. How where do you guys travel from? Queens. Oh yay, Queens! Okay. Uh, that's awesome. So how is how what's what's the shortest your commute's ever been? Half an hour. Half an hour. What's the longest? An hour, maybe two. <laughs> Bus service. We were in the Vallo today. So reliable. Reliable. Um. Do you guys want to ask them any questions? We have a little mini uh, focus group. How many? How do you manage? How do you do handle time management? You're commuting for an hour. You're traveling to Bronx Science. No procrastinating. Yeah. Definitely make time, make use of the time you have on your commute. I know a lot of students who work on the bus or, you know, um, use that time to sleep and catch up on anything they haven't been able to before. Queller. <laughs> Who's your favorite advertiser? Check it out. What are we looking at right now? What is this? So this is a lot of our clubs. Over there is robotics. We have chamber music. Pretty much everything you can think of. What are you part of? What are you involved in? I'm part of Dynamo, which is the school's literary magazine where students can um, submit poems and artwork to be published in a magazine at the end of the year. And um, I'm on cross country and track. That's awesome. Do you love it here on a scale of 1 to 10? Like 11? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like 11. <laughs> Where do you live, Calvin? Oh, uh, Jamaica. Got it. Okay, thank you.